I want to apologize in advance for probably butchering the pronunciation of this beautiful plant. There is no nickname for it either and so you'll just have to bear with me. Echeveria chihuahuensis or chihuahuaensis, both spellings are used, is a species native to Mexico. It's closely related to and sometimes mistaken for Echeveria colorada. The beauty of this succulent has gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. And it is no surprise as this Echeveria is a showstopper. Everything about it is stunning. Echeveria chihuahuensis is quite hardy. The rosettes grow on a low stalk close to the ground. Individual plants can reach approximately 12 cm or 5 inches in diameter and 10 cm in height when grown in ideal conditions. Chihuahuensis forms small clumps. Once a rosette is mature, it will produce offsets at the bottom. Each offset will then go on to produce offsets of their own. This plant is, however, not extremely prolific in growing offsets and usually produces two to three every growing season. Sometimes it will produce none. The leaves form a symmetrical rosette shape. They are quite short and stubby. The more stressed the plant gets, more stubby the leaves. The leaves are also covered in a thick layer of the white dust-like substance called the farina. Farina is a natural sunscreen many plants develop, giving the plant a softer look. Whatever you do, don't rub the farina off as this could result in the leaves getting sunburn. The color can change throughout the year based on seasons, temperature and sun exposure. It can range from light blue to light green. The tips of the leaves are pink and when the plant is stressed, back of the leaves also turn pink red. Echeveria chihuahuensis is a hardy plant that can be grown outdoors all year round in climates that only get very mild frosts but no snow. It's a sun lover that will grow best when exposed to at least 4 to 6 hours of sun outdoors. If you have a shade cloth, 30% is ideal. It will tolerate bright shade and filtered light but the leaves may elongate, the tips are unlikely to grow colorful and the shape can become a bit leggy. Shade also tends to be more humid at ground level, which may attract fungal disease such as rot or powdery mildew. Chihuahuensis is not suitable to be grown indoors other than for overwintering. The only time this plant will have a chance at surviving inside is if it's grown under plant growing lights suitable for succulents or in a super bright sunroom. In frost-free climates, it makes a gorgeous garden plant and can be grown around the edges or in rockeries. If you're planting succulents in the garden, a slope or a spot where water drains well after rain is ideal. It's also suitable to be grown in pots, though do make sure to repot about once per year for optimal growth. When grown in pots, succulent potting mix will give you the best results. It should have the right pH and good drainage. In the garden, heavy soil should be broken up and enhanced by adding any type of potting mix. Even generic stuff will do. Echeveria have thin roots and can have trouble breaking through hard soil, which will result in stunted growth. When it comes to watering, as long as good quality succulent potting mix is used in pots, Echeveria chihuahuensis should not show any adverse signs to overwatering or too much rain. It is important the plant gets enough sun and that the pot has holes so the water does not clog the roots. If however the weather is way too humid and rainy, powdery mildew can attack the foliage. Using a fungicide regularly during rainy spells should help. If the plant is in a greenhouse or under cover, water once the potting mix dries up from previous watering. In the ground, the chihuahuensis will not need to be watered all that often, though during heat waves or drought, it will thank you for a good soak every other day. Temperature-wise, this succulent should tolerate mild frosts to about minus 3 degrees Celsius or 26.6 Fahrenheit. If the frost settles, it may harm the plant and cause burn marks. Deeper frosts and snow are likely to cause death. During summer, chihuahuensis will be okay during heat waves and high temperatures of over 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit, but should not be exposed to direct sun at those temperatures. 
Pot plants especially can suffer sunburn when very hot. Garden plants are a little more hardy but even they can burn in direct sun. Echeveria chihuahuensis can be propagated from offsets, leaves and seeds. While propagating offsets is the easiest method, leaves also have a good strike rate. As for seeds, while possible, it can prove difficult to raise this plant from seed, plus it takes a long time for seeds to get to a decent size. In addition, it can be hard to find a reliable seed seller that will actually sell you seed that has not been contaminated with pollen of other succulents or sell seeds that are viable. As mentioned earlier, chihuahuenses will not grow loads of pups, but the ones that do pop out can easily be taken off and propagated. I would recommend to wait until the pups are a good size with a long enough stalk that can be cut or pulled. Once separated, the offsets should be left to dry for about a day and then planted in pots filled with succulent potting mix. If you want loads of babies, leaf propagation is the way to go. This plant has a great success rate and a single leaf can produce as many as 3 or 4 rosettes. All of these little plants have come from leaves. When separating leaves, it may be easier to get to the most bottom ones by removing the plant from the pot. The whole leaf needs to come off and nothing of it should be left on the stalk. Broken leaves may have a hard time to produce a leaf baby. Whichever propagation method is used, Echeveria chihuahuensis should only be propagated in the growing season. In my experience, they propagate best in spring. Summer may also be good, though do be careful young plants don't get burned in strong summer sun. This succulent is susceptible to all the usual succulent pests, but thankfully it is not one of the favorites. Aphids will attack the flowers while the odd mealybug can also burrow itself between the leaves but if there are tastier plants around they tend to leave chihuahuensis alone. Root mealybugs are common in rootbound plants. Snail slugs, caterpillars and grasshoppers may also take a bite every now and again. The flowers are simply stunning and open up pink with yellow on the inside. They grow on a tall stalk arching over the rosettes. In my part of the world, chihuahuensis flowers at the end of winter and through spring. If you see lots of aphids around but still want to enjoy the flowers, you can use them as cut flowers and pop them in a vase indoors. Just like all Echeveria, Chihuahuensis is not toxic to humans, dogs, cats, other pets or livestock, though I would not recommend to consume this plant as food. And that is all you need to know about this plant. If you have anything to add or want to ask a question, you can do so in the comments below. To learn more about succulents, hit the subscribe button or go to our website succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you very much for watching.